Look, mate, I know I booked a non-refundable package, but I don't want a refund. I just want to push it back a week. Well, I thought I would be free, didn't I? Well, how was I supposed to know Grindavik would make the knockout rounds? Uh, look, mate, it's Iceland. It's February. I just want to see the sun. Hey guys, I'm Aussie Villain and welcome back to Grindavik on the Impossible Dream. It's sort of season purgatory here. It's still, I guess, season 6, episode 11, perhaps. This should have been a summer transfer or a winter transfer special, but instead... We're going to play a game of Champions League knockout football against Dortmund. Now, there is nothing to catch you up on at all. Uh, nothing has happened off the field. So let's go and get straight to this and see if we can spring yet another upset in this season's Champions League. So we can see the way they're expected to play 4-2-3-1 formation. And this is the team that we are sending out. Andre is sending go Collar, uh, Axe, Selogvati and Matheson in the back four. The reason we've got Collar again... Jen Menu, he's not suspended, he has a cold, so that is uh, why he's not playing. Antonio Bacali and Capiello in midfield. Cisse, Hutchinson and Gadini will be the uh, attacking trio. Uh, now, we did see that they were uh, playing inside forwards. I'm not completely sure the best way to go about it, uh, trying to shut them down. Uh, so we'll go with what we know and, uh, yeah, see how we do. Okay, so we can see the team sheets there. Callum Doyle is playing for them. Interesting. Uh, Jonathan David, I think, got a couple of goals when we played them because we did play them in the uh, in the league phase. We lost 3-2 in Dortmund. So uh, that wasn't the worst. Do we go for revenge? Not usually a massive fan of that, but I do wonder, having lost to them so recently in Europe, if maybe that's the way to go. And here we go. It's a very, very icy night in uh, early February in Iceland. It would not be a great night to play football, would it? Let's be honest. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, we, we've we've broken new ground here for Icelandic football. It wouldn't be the biggest night in Icelandic football. I wouldn't have thought the national team was at uh, Euro 16, where they knocked England out. They, that would have had been a quarterfinal for the national team. I, I dare say that would be uh, the bigger night in uh, Icelandic football, but certainly for their club football. I think we're looking at the biggest night here. Champions League, first knockout round, having you know, just been the first Icelandic team to make the uh, the group or the league phase as well. So we are breaking, uh, breaking new ground left, right and centre here for Icelandic football. Let's maybe just be positive uh, early on here. What we don't need to do is fall behind here. What we want to do, obviously, is be in the tie going into that second leg. We've beaten some good teams at home. Uh, you know, RB Leipzig, Real Sociedad, but we don't want to take it for granted as the corner comes in and is headed away. And, uh, you know, if we can be in the tie for the second leg, then you never know what could happen as Matheson clears it away already on a booking, though, which is a little bit worrying. Uh, we do have Huggins who could go on and play over there, but... Oh, and it's 1-0. And uh, we've lasted 20-odd minutes. Let's give it a focus. Matheson missed his interception. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if we're looking at, at players that might need to be uh, upgraded on when we do get to a transfer special, uh, Matheson at right back is probably top of the list. Uh, I have been looking, you know, sort of once uh, the league season finishes, I have been looking at, at other players and sort of scouting and trying to find who we can bring in to strengthen us. Right back, I'm not really finding many... Uh, it's interesting header there from Collar. Not many options at right back to come in, and oh, it's it's not going well. Okay, well let's uh, let's try just being a little bit more compact, perhaps. And is it all going to come crumbling down in just a not very nice way? Oh, Silikvadzi got a block in. And they've been a little bit lucky there. We've had, you know, we've had games where we were, where we got quite lucky, uh, and I feel like maybe when you see that go against you, we might have used up all of our luck in Europe this season. But uh, they're definitely using the width of the pitch, aren't they? Matheson gets in there, but Carly's a midget, so he's not going to win much in the air. And. Well, they're just, they are just too good for us, aren't they? Um, all right, well, let's try trapping them inside then. <laughs> and 
I don't, they, yeah, you get the feeling that they're not happy that we uh, ran them so close at their place. And, yeah, I mean, Axe is just looking a little bit like maybe maybe it's time for the captain to, to take a bit of a back seat. If he wasn't captain, I don't know that he'd still be playing, to be honest, but he does. Uh, he He's a good leader for us. I think that's the problem. Let's say no pressure on them here. Let's try and take a bit of pressure off. We are doing okay in terms of possession, but... Yeah, I mean, possession is not everything, is it? And defensively, we, we must be a little bit of a shambles because <laughs> they seem to be scoring at will. And here they go in again, and the post has come to our rescue that time. And it's, it's I think, all of our worst fears are coming true here, isn't it? We've got to the to a very, very big stage, and we appear to have, uh, have frozen now we're here. A little bit like the pitch, you could say. <laughs> oh... It is the hope that kills you, isn't it? Can we at least not concede a fourth before half time? There's going to be two minutes of stoppages. And. Well, we just can't get near them, can we? I wonder if maybe Bacali in midfield. Oh, there we go. Capiello's won it back. Capiello, what can he do? He's got no support. It's Cissé getting there now. Cissé. Cissé to Cadini. Oh, it's still there. Pull it back and it's Capiello. Oh, and it is a lifeline in first half stoppage time. It is 3-1 now. And, well, it was scrappy, but you'd expect it to be scrappy when you're uh, basically playing on ice skates. Oh, the Cadini effort off the post. But Hutchinson kept it alive. Back in for Capiello. And it is a goal in the uh, in the stoppage time of the first half, and it's not done yet. Oh dear. Well, if there is a goal to be scored here, it could uh, either really reignite the tie, or it could absolutely shimmer in our face, just as we started to believe again that there might be a slight way back into this one. Axe to Capiello, back to Axe. Come on, boys. Call up. Looking for Gadini. Gadini knocks it down for Hutchinson. Hutchinson back to Gadini. Gadini's in. Gadini's in. Gadini scores! And we scored twice in first half stoppage time. It is 3 2. And the boys are back. We were just giving him a sporting chance. That's all it was. Gadini to Hutchinson. Hutchinson back to Gadini. The white ball on the snow is a little difficult to see. <laughs> ah, but there we go. Anyway, it's 3 2. We've scored twice in a minute, and oh, we're still not at half time. What well, could we go in level? That would be something. I mean, Dortmund have at times fallen in a heap in Europe, but this would be something else. All the way forward we go again. Gadini is there. Can't win the head up. Collar will pick that up. Oh, and Collar's given it away. No, no, no. That's Andreasen to the rescue. And that is now half time. It is 3 2. What an end to the half that was. Two goals in a minute. And uh, what do we say with that? How do we say we're happy? I guess we could say we're happy. Everybody looks delighted. So that's that's all well and good. And I wonder if we tell the defenders uh, we could maybe do a little bit better. We've now got a nervous Matheson. So maybe we shouldn't have done that. Uh, he's on a booking and nervous. You know what? Let's get Huggins on. Um, yeah. Haven't been super impressed by him anyway. So we'll get Huggins on over there and see what we can do. Call up with a free kick. It's Capiello in the box. Capiello is going to fall for Gadini who can't miss. And we have come back from the dead. We were 3-0 down and in the 49th minute, it's suddenly 3-3. And, well, I don't understand what this Dortmund defence is doing. It... I mean, it was, a, it was a decent block, I suppose you could say, but Gadini couldn't miss. And, well, can we keep going at this rate? We might have a 17-goal lead to take to Germany with us, as Hutchinson does his best to win it back. And, oh, we've fallen asleep there, but Andreasen again in goal is able to make the save for us. All right. I did not see this coming at 3-0, I have to be honest. We've got a corner now. Where's Axe? It's towards him. It's headed away, though. And is Dortmund going to come and uh, do a bit of a Sheffield United on Wrexham? Collar with a good tackle in the end. 
He's doing okay out there, isn't he? He's, he's not really good enough for this level, you wouldn't have thought. Capiello to Bacali. Bacali trying to find, thread the ball through for Gadini. Couldn't quite manage to do it. And here come Dortmund again. Here come Dortmund again. Can we get a block in? We can. Oh, we can. Axe on the line. And, well, this, this, I tell you what, it's a game, isn't it? Absolutely stunning thing to watch. All right, here we go with Hutchinson. He got a good goal in the goal of the season, and he's just put that over the top. Let's encourage them. Let's try and keep this going. And, uh, I mean, we have, it feels like a lot of the momentum right now. We just need to try and keep it going, as again, we come away with it. Hutchinson has got Collar with him. We go back beyond him to Axe. Collar now to Hutchinson. Hutchinson tries to go past his man, but gets it taken off his toes. And here come Dortmund the other way now. Oh, can we block the cross in? Oh, it's not a penalty. He's outside the box. He, will he get a booking? If he doesn't get a booking, it's just about worth it because it's not the greatest place for a free kick, is it? But we'll see. It, it's surely outside. Yeah. All right. And we just need to make sure we're defending properly. We do. And here we go again. End-to-end -end stuff. Absolute classic. I mean, even Cissé is looking, uh, looking okay. So that's saying something. But Carly only playing a 6-6. I, uh, I wonder if he needs to come off. I think I'm not willing to give up on Bakali just yet, partly because he's our token Australian, uh, but also we can see he's a good player and he's just arrived in Iceland. And I think I said it in a previous episode, I imagine Melvin de Grindavik is a bit of a culture shock. So we will give him some time to settle in, learn to speak the language, all that kind of stuff, and then sort of make a judgment on him. That is, that is offside. It doesn't matter. It, doesn't look like it's crossed the line, but it doesn't matter anyway because he's offside, so it wouldn't count even if it did. Unless I don't understand the rules, which is entirely possible, let's be honest. All right, cross comes in. Oh, and again, the goalkeeper is there. I tell you what, the defense does not look good for either side here, does it? We might do some defensive work before the... Oh, Hutchinson, that was a silly tackle. Luckily, it was so bad, he missed everything. Oh, and they flew to cross in into the offside. Come on, Grinvavik. Come on, Grinvavik. I think he's onside, though. Oh, he is, and it's 4-3 to Dortmund. It was a good ball in. And it's right back again, isn't it? Huggins just the wrong side. Andreasen, for once, couldn't come to the rescue. Let's tell him to focus. How close was it? Yeah, Huggins just didn't step up with the rest of his defense, did he? And unfortunately, after an epic, epic comeback, are we going to go to Germany behind anyway? Let's give them one last encourage. Can we find an equalizing goal for the fourth time? No, we can't. Well, actually, it would only be for the second time, wouldn't it? But anyway, second half, we, we, we were non-existent. They definitely deserved the win, but... Yeah, well, there we go. And we're in the tie, which I guess is all we can really ask for, but there's a lot of work to do in Germany. So Dortmund outscore Grindavik. As I said before, I think I said before anyway. <laughs> Can't remember what I say anymore. Thankfully, there's no away goals or else we would be in some serious trouble. Cissé is going to miss the second leg, uh, which is slightly problematic because we don't really have another right winger with Viva having left. But anyway, uh, that's my problem, not yours. Wait right there. We'll be back for the second leg and see if we can... Uh, We've only got to win by a goal. Okay, welcome back. Now, he's suspended for this one anyway, but Cissé is out for five to six weeks with a groin strain, so uh, if he wasn't suspended, he wouldn't be able to play anyway. Uh, so that's a bit of a blow, but by the time he's back fit, to be honest, hopefully we'll be able to sell him anyway because we'll have moved on from him. So let's go and have a look and see what we're doing here. It's a 4-2-3-1. We've just seen them play it. And, uh, well, we can see that they're a little bit suspect defensively, perhaps. So maybe if we can uh, score first here, there might be a chance. Now we need a right winger on the bench, I think, don't we? Or we need someone attacking on the bench.
Okay, we'll just stick Halkson on there for now. So the, the lineup is Andreasen in goal. Jen Yu is fit, so he plays. Bergson comes in to replace Axe. Just not completely convinced by him against, you know, the, the quicker defenders, uh, attackers, I should say. So Lugvadzi stays in with Matheson. Antonio Capiello and Bocali switch roles. We'll just try it and see how it goes. Rocky comes in for Cissé as an inside forward with Hutchinson and Gadini up front. And... Well, if we're solid at the back, if we score first, we can, we've can. we seen they struggle at the back at times. They're a little bit leaky, so but we have to score first. We just have to. Okay, so we can see the team sheets there. It looks a very similar starting lineup for them. Uh, it's a little bit of a change for us, but we'll see how we go here. There's no pressure on you. Yeah, okay. I mean, we're away from home now, so there probably is. Did I say no pressure in the last one? I can't even remember what I say. It's one of those things, you know, I play so many games that uh, it's like, did I say that? Did I mean to say that? Was I? And of course, you overthink things as well. But anyway, let's not worry about it. When we were here last time in the league phase, it was 3-2 to Dortmund. I think in that one, we were, well, we th no, we scored first, I think. I think Axe scored first. We went 3-1 down, and then we got pulled one back to get to 3-2, and that was that. But it is going to be tough, let's be honest. We'll need to win by one to uh, to avoid elimination. Obviously, we'll need to either then score a second or uh, or go to penalties. But uh, yeah, it's a proud night for Icelandic football either way, I would imagine. But uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. I'm hoping the little twist of roles in midfield between Capiello and Bacali might might give us something extra. Uh, we've got some defending to do here. It is oh, it's a penalty. I've never not seen VAR give a penalty. There it is. And early in the game, this is not what was needed. Can Andreasen be a hero? No, it goes the wrong way. So it might be about to all go tits up for us. 5-3. We now need two goals. Uh, it was never likely to be a 1-0 win, let's be honest. And yeah, he went early, he went the wrong way. And David was good enough to stick it the other direction. Let's just tell him to focus here. We just need to not be out of this one completely. Maybe we need to go 3-0 down before we start playing. Maybe that's the <laughs> that's the key here. Capiello putting some good pressure on. But Carly. Oh, they've just sucked us in beautifully, haven't they? Bergson goes across, makes a decent tackle, but can't actually clear the danger. It's into a very dangerous area, and that's a miss. Hopefully, the first of many. And we are just getting overrun here, aren't we? All right, so let's uh, let's go back to that trap inside. Oh, that was uh, could have been a lot worse for us. Oh, that's a red card, ref. Red card. Should be a yellow. Or was it just a warning? Um... Yeah, I mean, I feel like the way they're playing suggests that we should be, if with inside falls, we should be trying to trap them on the outside, not let the you know, inverted winger, sorry, not let them come inside. But we've been looking better when we've been just trapping them inside. Uh, here we go, Capiello. It's a good ball for Rocky. Rocky's got Matheson with him. Is he? Gonna, he can't cross, can Rocky? He goes back for Matheson. Matheson waits to get closed down. Antonio, oh, it's wonderful for Matheson. Ball in, and it's a wonderful goal, Gadini does it again it's his fourth of the season already it's 1-1 one, one on aggregate we are 4-5 down on uh no it's 1-1 one, one on the night we are 4-5 down on aggregate wonderfully worked and Gadini I tell you what high foot he could be off you know yellow card up here yellow card for a high foot we're playing against 10 men um I don't think I think that's outrageous he didn't get booked for either. That could easily, so easily, surely, have been a red card for two bookings. Anyway, unlucky. We're doing okay here, boys. And uh, I've just hit something I didn't mean to hit there, haven't I? Oh, no, it was fine. I didn't. Uh, all right, so we'll get back out there with what we've got. Rocky on the right-hand side is uh, maybe a little bit not great. Um, it's just a little bit of a lack of options. We do have a young kid on the bench that can play right wing. I don't know that he's quite ready to play in the Champions League just, just yet, though. We've got a corner to defend. Can we do it? No, we can't. And Pavard is first of the season. It's 6-4, and is that game set match? You fear a little bit that it might be. 
Now, one thing we could do, Huggins could play right wing and get a little bit of width in there. So let's maybe try that. Uh, I do have Huggins on the bench. He's sort of our jack of all trades that's probably going to be off at the end of the season. If this season does end, it's looking like it will after this episode. Um, but Carly is still just not having a good night out. Capiello, Huggins is back doing some good defensive work. It actually, in hindsight, there's probably a good argument to say he should have started out there for his defensive work. And is that a save or is it the post? Looks like it's the post. All right. Uh, but Carly, mate, I, my loyalties run out at some point. So let's get Turpinson on. Yeah, we'll stick Capiello into his more familiar role. And we'll unpause the game. Uh, I mean, we're doing okay, you know, in terms of possession. They've had a penalty, which inflates their XG, of course. But they're just that little bit too good for us right now. Our centre-backs are having nightmares. We've just not been good enough defensively against this team. Uh, and you'd maybe expect that. We did work on defence in between the two ties, as you would expect us to. But it's just not quite going to happen. Can we get a, at least a draw on the night? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Matheson. Huggins gets forward. Huggins, it's blocked away. And it's going to be picked up by Antonio for Jan Yu. Could be his last time we see him. Hutchinson crosses it in. It is back to the goalkeeper. Oh, and they gifted us a goal for Gadini. It's 6-5. Oh, it could still be on yet. All right, hang on. We've, it could still be on here. I need, to, I need to focus. They've absolutely... I mean, what are you doing? What are you doing? The, I mean, don't head it back towards your goal. And the goalkeeper's got to do better. And can we get a kickoff highlight? Uh, it doesn't look like we can. And that will be that. Six, five, I tell you what, 6-5 on aggregate to Dortmund. Obviously, it's disappointing to lose, but I'm going to take that. That's that's a, a what they, like a moral. It's a moral victory for us, that one. We've gone, to, we've gone and faced Dortmund over two legs, and they've only beaten us by a goal. So first leg helps Dortmund past Grindavik. Ultimately, you don't win your home games. You don't win, you don't, you know, you're not going to win many ties in Europe, are you? But 8 million into the bank is a very nice place to be. Gadini with two more goals. And like I say, he's not a... What I love about Gadini so much is we've had guys in the Impossible Dream before that have scored an absolute boat ton of goals, but they've not done it in Europe. He scores his goals in Europe. 17 goals in the Champions League in 18 games. That is just absolutely insane. He is just about the best striker we've had outside of uh, the guy we had at Queen of the South that we signed from Celtic, whose name escapes me. Other than him, I can't remember having a striker that's been this good and certainly not this early on in the series. Absolute God he is. Uh, all right, so we have had uh, we've had uh, two players being looked at for the national team, the goalkeeper and Bergson. Uh, wouldn't have liked what he saw from Bergson there. Wouldn't have thought Rocky will be suspended. I don't think he'll be around to be suspended, to be honest. But there we go, guys. That will do it for today. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. We've got a transfer budget of $5 million for next episode. Uh, we've got so we'll be February, so we go through to about March when the season starts. We've got $25 million in the bank. Uh, we have had training, uh, training facilities approved. Uh, where can I go and see that? Here we go here. So the new stadium is nine months away. Uh, there is a, uh, a improved training facilities coming in. Uh, I think we had uh, I think we had new training facilities approved. Anyway, I'm sure we did. Can we ask again? There'll be new training facilities coming. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's it's just all going very, very well, I've got to say. But as I said, next episode is the transfer special. And I will see you for that. Let me know where you think we need to strengthen. I think fullback, both sides, right wing. Uh, we need to replace Viva properly. And uh, anywhere else that we've seen big upgrades, we'll probably take them. Take care.